All right, guys. We need to talk about something. Now, a lot of us have been jumping onto the hype train about a recent blaster, myself included. And of course, it has come in the mail. Now, there was a lot of hype and a lot of interest in this blaster. The MK2, you know, teased out of nowhere, everybody just getting completely wet over it. Um, you know, Drac obviously getting first dibs and, and showing us these absolutely almost unbelievable numbers from it. it. It just looked too good to be true. And I've noticed a lot of people have been picking these up and they're finally getting them. Those of us who were lucky enough to get them in the first and second orders or however many orders they had, obviously, on, on target. And a lot of us have already been hitting the chronographs and, and getting some tests. Now, with things like the bamboo darts, you know, Drac was getting some pretty good numbers, similar to people like myself and in my local group, which was in the 120s, which wasn't bad. Pretty good. But the weird thing was... We were not getting the same performance as Drac with this. Now, the Pro Darts, if you look here, I was barely getting in the 120s with a Pro Dart. Um, my lowest was 86. My highest was 118. I These weird claims of 150 were just kind of almost impossible. And I keep seeing more and more people who have just picked up their MK2s with the same problems. And I want to address a few things. Uh, there are some people who are getting their 150 FPS with the pros. There are some people who are not seeing these problems. But there are a growing number of us who are seeing it. Like I said, myself included. Now, I also want to mention Walcom in his recent video uh, did point out that he believes the barrel fitment is a little loose. And he pointed that out on the pro darts. He stated that he was getting hotter numbers, but was also getting lower numbers. So uh, there was some inconsistencies. Now, like I said, when you saw the, the image I showed before, you know, somebody in my local group that was with uh, a box of, of fresh darts, you know, and there was numbers that weren't in, nothing was getting over 120. So we're not seeing these, these, uh, you know, hot 150 numbers, like I said, both as, as Drac and as, as Walcom. So I want to talk about something getting this out of the package. I do have an image of it, so let's take a look at it right here. Now, this is my first time priming back the blaster and taking a look of the internal clip and the internal breech. And if we notice, right here, there is a little bit of material. Now, that material is actual rubber from the O-ring on the pusher and what i want to say is that i i have a feeling and I, i'm completely speculating at this point because i have no actual information I, I haven't tested it myself but i have a feeling that the in o-ring on these are not getting a good seal um i, I have a feeling it has to do with the o-ring within this breach because like I said, when I primed my back, there there was, you know, material left on the breech itself. And for some reason, you know, I was not getting a really good seal. And I plugged these barrels. There's, there's no seal. There was no seal at all. That completely, you know, escaped through whatever. Now, it could be... Uh, from the pusher itself, there could also be issues with uh, leakage from the O-ring around the plunger tube. I don't know. I have yet to get into my MK2 to do a little bit of research. Now, my frustration with this is that there were a lot of people who were extremely excited and extremely hyped, and they were let down. They were let down quite a lot. Uh, like I said, there are others who are not having these problems. Now, I've heard that the customer support from primetime toys is actually pretty good i heard that if you do have issues with this you can get in contact with their customer support and let them know of your problems however i am going to be trying to test whether or not the spare o-rings from say a nexus or uh, aeon pros will actually change this if this will uh, fix the problem if it will 
hopefully give us the seal that we're looking for. I don't know. We'll see. You know, if we can get a better number, if, if we can fix the numbers, that would be ideal. And I, I cause I don't want to have to send this back. Uh, we're right in the middle of the holiday season. Sending these back might take you weeks, even into next year before you'll see them again. I don't know, you know, and if we can come up with a quick, simple solution, that would be great. And seeing that we didn't have those, those spare O-rings is, is a bit of a letdown, especially for the price point of these. Now, I know there was a lot more cost going into these due to, you know, such nice features. These things are, are really great. They feel nice in the hand. Uh, I, I do want to point out that I think we had some pretty high expectations. Drac really kind of set the bar, unfortunately, too high for everyone. A 120, you know, FPS pistol of this size is a really good pistol. We have to keep that in mind. 150 would just be absurdly good. And while we all were expecting it, we are all not getting it. And I, I think we just need to tone it back a little bit on our first impressions of the MK2. For those of you who are getting these and you are getting suboptimal numbers that are not the same as, say, Drax numbers, be aware that if you try to return it, it is going to take you a very, very long time to potentially get your replacement. Um, for those of you who also have spare O-rings, try it out. I'm going to be doing the same. Uh, Relubricate it. See if you're getting a better seal. See if you can't get a seal in this first. And then see about getting in contact with customer support. If, if all else fails, that's the, the last solution. Don't be the first solution if you can help it. Just because, like I said, we're already in the middle of a second wave of a pandemic. A lot of states are shutting down. We're in the middle of a holiday season. A lot of things are being shipped. So please keep that in mind. Uh, I think that's about all I really have to cover on this. I really, I, I'm not here to totally, you know, crap on the Dart Zone Pro MK2. It's a nice blaster. It It is still really good as a sidearm. It's just, I think the hype was set a bit too high, unfortunately. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. Everybody, please stay safe out there. And thanks for watching. Hey, if you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and come check me out over on Twitch to keep up to date on my current mods I'm working on. I hope to see you there sometime.